All right, Bleach is finally back on the screen, or back in our screens. Anyways, Bleach is finally back. And um, first off, I'm not a big reaction guy. You know, there's plenty of episode reacts out there. Go watch those, they're fun. Um, give you something to do. Um, and I'm not a real big reviewer as well. I'm very easy, you know, to, I'm a very easy person, please, when it comes to entertainment. Movies, TV shows, video games. So I'm not the best type of person to come to for reviews. Um, plus, it's bleach. I'd bias. I'd probably give every episode 8, 9, or 10. Uh, that's beside the point. I just kind of want to give my two cents on what we're seeing and and kind of, you know, try to pull more people into it. Because the more people that watch it, the better. Um, they have confirmed that it's going to be 52 episodes. It's going to be four cores or seasons, however you want to you know, whatever floats your boat in that sense. So we'll probably have three months, take a break, three months, take a break. Um, could easily go into 2024, um, maybe late 2023, depending on how they take their breaks. But the more people that watch it, the more money that's going to get invested into it. It's just like anything else in the entertainment industry. The more eyes it gets, the more money that's going to go back into it, and the better quality we have. Quality is not bad to begin with. This thing is movie level quality. It looks so good. Um, the action is fast paced. The artwork is amazing. The background's beautiful. The effects are on par with Demon Slayer and Jujutsu Kaisen and some of the top dogs in today's current anime world. Um, as far as the music, oh, the soundtrack on Beach has always been good. And they didn't miss a beat. The songs are great. And speaking of songs, wait to the, the... There's no opening or ending credits or opening or ending songs on this episode. There's a very special ending video that you should check out with the amazing song. It plays the whole history of Bleach and it just hits the, the, the high notes and the crazy notes. It's so good. I've seen it countless times already. Watch that. And if you're a fan, and if you're not, kind of want to, or if you're not, don't know anything about this world, watch it and it'll kind of at least show you bits and pieces of what's going on. Um, I'm not saying that's going to get you caught up. Uh, but yes, if you've never seen it, watch it. Check this episode out. It's a good starting point. Uh, they introduce two new Soul Reapers that basically act as the point of view characters for the audience. You're thrown into the city just like they are. They're trying to figure everything out. Shit goes crazy, goes south. And then we're introduced to our heroes, or at least a batch of our heroes. Because in the world of Bleach, there's so many good characters, and they don't try to throw them all in your face on episode one. You're just introduced to a few of the Earth heroes, or you know the normal world heroes. And you see a few Soul Reapers. Um, because in this episode, there's two tasks going on at the same time, two things that are happening. And it's all going to get revealed, but basically, they try to steal Ichigo's powers. And at the same time, they're de declaring war in the Soul Society. There's this group that is attacking both sides. Um, so yes, it's very minuscule bits of the storyline, but it's, you know, it's laying out the what's going to happen in the next two or three episodes. This is going to be a, a violent, bloody series, if anything, or continuation. Uh, you see a guy's head get chopped off. You get a, you see a guy's arm get ripped off. Uh, there's, you know, someone's getting attacked from behind by one of the evil spirits, or hollows, if you're a fan of the Beast universe. Um, and as weird as it is to say, even the blood is drawn very beautifully it makes no sense when i say that but when you see it you're going to be like oh i see what he's saying now but anyways they declare war on one group that uh is the soul reapers they declare war on the soul reapers and while this is going on our heroes ichigo chat or hime and uryu are just basically living their normal day-to-day -day life a brand new villain shows up 
Ichigo deals with him, wants to know why they're trying to make his powers disappear. It doesn't work, and then he's out like that. Uh, at the very end of the episode, you get a glimpse of the main villain, and you can tell he's not someone who messes around, because as soon as his subordinate starts to argue, he basically kills one. Rips him in half, or rips his arm off, and he just falls over, and he flat out says, I don't like conflict, which is very uh, contradictive, because he just de declared war on a group of of soul reapers, or, you know, it's hard to explain, basically, you know, they're this world's, un uh, this universe's grim reapers, for those who are not versed in the beast lore, but that's, uh, that's something that I say, jump into, like I said, watch what you can, but it is a good time to be a Bleach fan. Um, also, Orihime is best girl in the anime, and she's also either super super fast or super uh, sneaky, because in one second she's there, and then the, uh, another second she's over here. Um, it's amazing. Uh, too many people are getting hung up on that. And getting hung up on Chad basically blowing the side of the building out. Uh, it did not blow up the building. It basically blew some bricks out and knocked some lights, lights out. A light earthquake, if anything. But people are freaking out. Um, I think anime Twitter is just being very picky and harsh on Bleach right now because it's competing with other big animes at the moment. That's beside the point. Um, so yeah, check it out. If you haven't seen it, I will try to continue to review what I can, but Leech is finally back. I am happy. I've seen it like three or four times, as sad as that is, but you know, I just, I had to, you know, it's just in me. So yeah, check it out.